My name's Tanisa, and I'm so glad that you're here today. To get things started, I think it's time to shout out super duper loud, hey friends, because we're all friends here. So on the count of three, I want you to shout with me, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, hey friends! Whoa, that was amazing. I just love being here with you all. When we're together, we get to hear an amazing Bible story. And then we get to dance together and sing some songs. But before we do any of that, we get to have fun together. And I just love having fun. It's one of my most favorite things to do with you. And do you know what else I love? Snacks. I love snacks. Do you love snacks too? Yeah? You know what one of my favorite snacks is? It's ice cream. Oh, ice cream, it's just so yummy. Oh, but there's a very special kind of ice cream called a banana split. Yes, it's got ice cream and the bananas and the chocolate syrup and then sprinkles and oh, it's just so yummy. And that got me thinking that today we could make a banana split together. Oh, it's going to be perfect. And the best part is after we get to eat it. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. There's gonna be some pictures that pop up on the screen and some of them are going to be absolutely perfect for our banana split, but some of them are not so perfect for our banana split. I'm gonna need your help to decide what we should use and what we shouldn't use. Okay, this is gonna be great. Let's see our first ones. Oh, well this, this is interesting. We have a bowl and a bucket. Which one do you think would be best for a banana split? We're gonna put the ice cream in a bowl or a bucket. Did you see bowl? Yes, I think so too. I think we should use a bowl. Let's see if we're right. Oh yes, you are so smart. Okay, let's see our next one. Oh. This one has one scoop of ice cream and the other one has three scoops of ice cream. Hmm, okay. If you think we should have one scoop of ice cream, I want you to stand up and hop one time. But if you think we should have three scoops of ice cream, I want you to stand up and hop three times. Okay, let's see ya. I think I'm gonna hop three times because yeah, I definitely think we should have lots of ice cream today. It's just so yummy. Okay, let's see if we're right. Oh yes, we were right. Okay, so now we have three scoops of ice cream in our bowl. Let's keep going. Oh, well, this is a banana and an apple. For our banana split, what do you think we need? If you think we need a banana, then stand up straight, just like a banana. And if you think we need an apple, ah, no, we're not gonna use an apple for our banana split. Let's use the banana. Awesome, you're doing so great. Okay, let's see our next ones. Okay, so we have some chocolate milk and some chocolate syrup. Chocolate milk is really tasty. But what do you think we should use for a banana split? Okay, if you think we should use chocolate milk, then wave your arms really low like this. But if you think we should use the chocolate syrup, then wave your arms really high like this. Okay, let me see ya. Oh yeah, I think we should use the chocolate syrup. Let's see if we're right. Oh yeah, I think our banana split is looking super delicious. Okay, I think we just need one more thing. Let's take a look. Oh, well, it looks like we have sprinkles and we have confetti. You know, they kind of look the same, but one of them is just perfect for our banana split. 
So if you think we should use the sprinkles, then shout out, sprinkles, sprinkles, sprinkles. But if you think we should use confetti, then I want you to shout out, confetti, confetti, confetti. Okay, let me hear ya. Sprinkles, sprinkles, sprinkles? <gasps> yeah, I think we should use sprinkles. Okay, let's see if we're right. Yes, okay, we have the sprinkles. And now you just have to take a look at how beautiful and delicious our banana split is. Wow, you did such an amazing job helping me. And now reach into your pocket and let's pull out our imaginary spoon. And let's grab our banana split because now it's time. We have all been waiting for. Take a big bite and eat it as fast as you can. Oh, wow. That was so yummy. I think I ate mine too fast. I have a really full belly now. Oh, man. I think I ate it too fast. But I've had a great time hanging out with you all today. Oh. Don't worry, because the fun is not over yet. Now it's time to hear an amazing Bible story just for you. So let's take a seat and get all comfy, because here we go. My name's Sabrina, and I'm so excited to tell you something amazing that I read in my favorite book. Do you know what book I'm talking about? It's the Bible. And the Bible is important because it helps us know how much God loves us. So I was reading in my Bible and I read all about a king, King David. Yeah, David really knew how to help others. He was a good king who loved God with all his heart. David knew that God wanted him to be a helper to as many people as he could. And David wanted to do just that. Well, when David was younger, before he became king, he had a good friend named Jonathan. Yeah, David loved Jonathan very much, and he made a promise to always help Jonathan and anyone in his family. Well, Jonathan grew up, and he had a son, and his son had a big, big name. His name was Mephibosheth. Mephibosheth. Can you say that with me? Okay, on the count of three, we're going to say Mephibosheth. Are you ready? One, two, three, Mephibosheth. Wow, that is a tough name to say, but you did a great job. Mephibosheth did not have a good place to live, and he was hurt. Mephibosheth had a hard time walking, and he really, really needed help. Now, David had grown up too. It had been a long time since he made that promise to help, and now David was an important king. Do you think that David is just going to go on living his life in the palace, being a king, and forget about the promise and Mephibosheth? Or do you think that King David is going to help? Yes, yes, I heard you say help him, and that's exactly what David did. David was a very busy king, but he made sure to keep his promise to help. He brought Mephibosheth into his home and treated him just like family. David made sure that he had a very nice home to live in and he invited him to eat at the king's table every single day. Wow! What kind of foods do you think they might eat at a king's table? Yell at the food that you think. Oh yeah, maybe. Maybe ham or turkey or bread, fruits. Uh-huh, vegetables, yes. Desserts like pie or cake or cookies or more fruit or more vegetables. Yeah, that's right. So much food. Every day for the rest of his life, Mephibosheth was invited to eat at the fancy palace with David like he was a part of the king's family. That is so amazing. David was such a great helper. And we can be just like David and help others too. Like when your teacher asks for someone to clean up the crayons. Yeah, you can be a helper and clean them up. Or maybe when your brother or your sister has a messy room, 
even though it's not your mess, you can help clean up their room. There are so many ways that we can help others every single day. You can help others and I can help others. We can be amazing helpers. Let's pray and thank God for showing us how to be helpers. If you're ready to pray, give me a big clap. Dear God, thank you so much for loving us and helping us. And please show us all sorts of ways that we can be helpers too. We love you so much, God. Amen. Wow, that is so amazing. I'm going to remember all week long that I can help others. I'll catch you next time, friends. Bye. That was an amazing Bible story. I just loved listening to it with you. And now is the time we've all been waiting for. It's time to sing and dance. So get up on your feet. Stand up, stand up, because it's time to dance. Bye, friends. Sing along with me I can be a good friend God wants me to I can be a good friend A good friend to you I can share my toys We can play outside We can jump so high We can swing and slide Fly, fly, slippity, slide Zip, zip, zippity, z Zoom, swoosh, here we go Sing along with me I can be a good friend, God wants me to. I can be a good friend, a good friend to you. I can say I'm sorry when I hurt you. I can say I'm sorry like good friends do. Slice, slice, slippity, slide, zip, zip, zippity, z. Zoom, swoosh, here we go. Sing along with me, oh, slice. Sing along with me I can be a good friend 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 Last my slippity slide Zip, zip, zippity z Zoom, swoosh, here we go Oh, slice.